Game 5 Eastern Conference Semifinals. The Boston Celtics have a lofty series lead with three wins. Will overconfidence be their undoing? Or will their passion and determination help them prevail against the Cavaliers? Round two of the NBA playoffs continue. Coming right up. Tonight could be the it. And they've got a few injuries on their bench. Fewer options, but you'd think not too big of an impact for them. The NBA postseason, not for the weak of heart. A few injuries on their end, complicating things a bit, but they're looking to hang in there. And the Cleveland starting five. Garland runs point with Mitchell at the two. And a lot of size for him, with both Mobley and Allen watching the paint. And it's Okoro in at the small forward position. And for Boston, they've got Jalen Brown, Drew Holiday out there with Derek White. Then there's Jason Tatum, and it's Horford in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Just four to shoot. The three from Okoro. Rebound Boston. Here's Tatum, and the call will be against Jason Tatum. That's his first foul. Taking a look at Cleveland, facing elimination here. What do they have to do to overcome some pretty big odds against them? Well, I mean, because so many people have already written them off this series, in a way, they really have nothing left to lose. They can come out loose, try to have some fun. Maybe that different energy will produce a different outcome. Hard to stop a guy with Allen's physical gifts inside. He forces the defense against sloppy and foul. And he knocks down the first one. good as he hits both shots. Here's Holiday. Horford outside. Pass to Tatum. Mobley grabs the board. Holiday against Garland. Allen with a screen on Holiday. Garland finds Mobley. Tatum pulls it in. Here's Brown. Out to Horford. Pass to Tatum. Brown, a screen on Mobley. Here's Tatum. Offline from the top of the key. That was a good look for him from mid-range, but just couldn't make the defense pay. Mitchell, the pass to Garland. Horford with the block. The great positioning, the 7-1 wingspan. That combination makes Horford a dangerous shot blocker. Here's Holiday, the kick out to White. Horford passes to Tatum. Back to Horford. And play stops. As it looks like an over-the-back call here. And that's his second foul committed with a lot of game left. Gotta be careful. The Cavaliers have gone 0 for 3 from the floor to begin this one. Garland against Holiday. Mitchell with the ball. That one goes in. One thing you can count on with Mitchell, he will just keep attacking. And so Holiday will bring it up for Boston. Nothing up yet on the scoreboard for him. Horford. And a foul called on the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Yeah, you never want to let shots at the rim go uncontested. And the Cavaliers make it a change here. LeVert's checked in. He does not get the second one. If you want to talk about a high-value veteran, Al Horford is your guy. I mean, he's been around the block and has a ton of wisdom to share with younger guys. Still very early, but that's not the start they want. One for five shooting. Just taking it right to the rim, and no one was there to greet him. Easy possessions like that literally are just a gift. You just dream of them. You gladly take them. And Tatum's got the ball here for the Boston Celtics. They trail by one. And finished off by Tatum. Two extra loud points there by Jason Tatum. Sending a message. And Mitchell launches it from deep. And another miss by Cleveland. For Boston, they've gone just two for four from the floor. Tatum with it. Picked up by Allen. Now Garland. It's stolen by Tatum. Pass 
to White. Pass break. Here come the Celtics. Connects from downtown. Yeah, the savvy of Horford on display. Just tremendous passing as a big. Cleveland has gone 0 for 4 from deep to start this one. To end the run. That one goes. Now he's 1 for 2. Those mid-range looks will be there for him. Nice work to capitalize. Holiday passes to Brown. Cavaliers with a rebound. And you don't see that every day. Usually he'll convert when he gets that close to the rim. Here's Mitchell. And again, it's Cleveland converting. Looks like it could be a big night for him. Very strong start here in the first quarter. Holiday taking his time here. Tatum finds Brown. Offline with a three. The Cavs have gone only three for nine from the floor. From deep, Mitchell. It's rebounded by Jalen Brown. Boston has gone one of two from three-point land so far. White, the pass to Brown. The rebound by... Donovan Mitchell. Give the defender credit. Willing to challenge the shot. Lots of other guys just let them score there. That's a big make for Levert. Should help his confidence. Boston trailing. Outside Holiday. And that's good. His first bucket of the game. Pounding it inside early and often. Setting a physical tone. And for the Cavaliers, they're shooting just 36% here in the first quarter. The three from Mitchell. And doesn't connect. That miss makes him two for five. To the inside. And denied! He sends it right off the glass. One second left. And he can't get that one. And still a close game as the first quarter comes to a close. The Cavaliers ahead. And welcome back, folks, for more Eastern Conference semifinal action. And what stands out to you from the Cavaliers in this one? Well, we've watched them force their way to the line, and it seems to be working so far. Especially on the road, you want to come in aggressive. Let everyone in this arena know that you are here to play. On the court right now for Cleveland. We've got Jared Allen. Karis LeVert is out there with George Niang. And it's Merrill in at the two. LeVert passes to Porter. Misses in close. Well, the Celtics shooting just 31% in today's game. Not great. Pass to Hauser. For three. The rebound by Allen. Allen's got four rebounds in the game. Here's Merrill. Porter. Pass to Niang. Low block shot. And the shot's good. Porter's got his first points in this one. Anytime you get a look that good, oh, it's a great trip. Here's Pritchard. He's guarded by Porter. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Man, good whistle there. The first one falls. A different look for Cleveland. Wade comes in for Niang. And Okoro is subbed in for Porter Jr. The Cavaliers leading. Overall, though, they've taken good care of the ball. That's their first turnover. And just a great job of getting there first and absorbing the contact. Porter Jr., he's checked in for Wade. Number nine. For Boston, they've got none of their first three shots to fall so far in the second. Porter with the steal. Pass to Merrill. Allen finds Levert. Fires the three. Count it. His third and five attempts. It's great whenever a big knows how to handle it. Allen sharing the wealth. Here's Hauser. There's the triple. Pure from three-point range. Man, this is just fun. These teams are trading threes back and forth. This is today's NBA. Hey, we see this kind of exchange more often than not. Here's LeVert. Rebound Boston. Tatum's got four rebounds now. Pass to Pritchard. Inside. Okay! Tatum punching it home! Tatum 
just has too much bounce right there. Better be careful you're trying to stop that. For Cleveland, they've gone 2 of 4 here in the second quarter. LaVert, right side. Outside for Porter. Here's Merrill. Shot clock at 6. Takes the 3. And it's Cornette with a rebound. Boston's gone one of two from deep in the second quarter. Here's Hauser. Drives to the hoop. And he's headed to the line for two. He gets the whistle there. And there's the whistle. Foul on the Cleveland Cavaliers. And that one drops. So now they lead by one. Some changes for Boston. Al Horford's checked in for Cornette. White comes in for Mikhailu. And Drew Holiday is subbed in for Pritchard. Donovan Mitchell's checked in for Cleveland. Garland comes in for Porter Jr. For a star like him, you get lots of opportunities at the line, and he's great at cashing them in. Took the opportunity when he saw it. Such a consistent shooter. Garland has worked so hard on his three-point shot. Holiday passes to Horford. Beyond the arc. And the rebound goes to the Cavaliers. Allen's got his fifth rebound in this one. Holiday against Garland. Fires for three. Up again. Oh, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. And the Cavaliers lead by three. Look, the offensive glass is all about effort and energy. And Allen, look, he's got plenty of both. And the Celtics making a change here. Tillman's checked in. Thompson, he's checked in for the Cavs. Darrell comes in for Levert. And down it goes. Two points. Holiday's got his second basket of the game. Guy's just ridiculous. He's just an absolute surgeon when he has the ball. This man is surgical. There is no way to slow him down when he wants to score. Now here's Garland. Pass to Merrill. To the paint. Slam dunk by Thompson. A savage reverse jam. That takes great body control. No question. He was making a statement right there, man. Just tenacious play there by Garland against the defense, making sure that he can still get his shot off. And a look at how the offensive approach has been going so far for the Cavaliers. They've really been dialed in from deep. This is a team that has a ton of confidence in their outside shooting ability. And something else I've noticed is how they've been able to cause turnovers and take advantage of them on the offensive end, not wasting those extra chances at all. That's a second, and I think they'll keep him in, but he's got to be careful. A third, and he'll sit for the rest of the half. A different look for Cleveland. Allen, he's checked in for Thompson, and it's Mobley in for Merrill. Mobley. Tillman with a screen. Here's Hauser. The rebound by Allen. One reason this game is so tight is because both teams are hitting the boards with reckless abandon. Ooh, took him no time at all to get that one. The game of Mitchell is more about putting up points, but Donovan can dish too. Holiday finds Horford. Down low to halt the run. And Horford powers it home. And what an aggressive move to the rim. He's really trying to fire up his teammates right now. Boy, it's not hard to feel inspired after a teammate makes that kind of finish. And that could be the spark they needed to make a little run as they try to even this thing up. White, the pass to Holiday. White against Mitchell. Mobley with the block. Hard to protect your shot from Mobley's lane. Look, he just bats that ball away. Substitutions for the Celtics. Luke Barnett. Twelve seconds left to play in the first half. Mobley with the block. Horford with a steal. Misses from short range. And that'll do it for the first half of play. The Cavaliers on top. They're up by six. And we'll be right back after halftime to get the third quarter underway. The effort we've seen from the bench so far, it really helps to keep this kind of depth. Guys who can come in on the offense. Looking at how the Celtics are doing in this
And that's a wrap on halftime. Thanks for watching as we send you back to BA to call the second half. And let's get you back onto the court for more of this pivotal game five. Boy, you got to like what we're seeing from Karis LeVert. They've leaned on him to provide a lot of offense, and that's how he likes it. He always wants to be a go-to guy for them. I'm sure he'll be calling for the ball even more in this half. Jason Tatum out there with Jalen Brown. Then there's Drew Holiday. Then it's Derek White. And it's Horford in at center. That's the Boston Five. White with the steal. Right side Tatum. Brown with it. Now guarded by Mobley. Brown can't hit. They have a decent advantage in regards to rebounding. Garland, the pass to Allen. Tatum with a steal. Now here's Brown. The D's right on him. Inside. White gets it to go. Assertive move. You can tell the game's heating up a bit. And so it's Garland who brings up the ball for the Cavaliers. Four-point game. Mobley outside. Back to Garland. Mobley, a screen on Holiday. Here's Garland from 13 feet. Down it goes. Garland's got seven points in the game. The quick thinking of Garland in the pick and roll. His decision-making is so impressive. Horford finds Tatum. From downtown. The rebound by Allen. Allen's got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. Rough start to the second half for them. Only getting one of the past four shots to fall. And this is exactly who you want taking that shot. You just missed it. White. Good. When guys are moving the ball, sharing it, it makes the game so much more fun, both as a player and as a fan. Cleveland calls timeout. Cleveland. in the game. Pulls it. That one rolls around and rims out. Credit the defensive effort there. Not giving him room to operate. Tatum from long range. Cavaliers with the rebound. Well, his shooting is unfortunately not a big thing. And his lackluster accuracy is probably the thing that's keeping them behind. Mitchell down low. No settling for an outside shot there. They went right to the hoop. Boston's got nothing to fall from outside in this third quarter. Holiday passes to Brown. Inside. And finished off by Tatum. Not just being selfish, but also smart with the ball. Brown is able to find the best guy for the right shot. Outside Mitchell. And the call will be against Derek White. Wow. That's his first foul. To admit, I mean, it's always a tough decision for the ref on the block charge call. Pritchard's checked in for White. Lavert's checked in for Cleveland. Just over two and a half minutes gone by in the second half. And it's Mitchell, the miss. And even though he hasn't been himself, it hasn't affected his team too much. They've still got the lead. And it's going to be out of bounds. Boston will have another go. Scanning the floor. The kick to Tatum. Back to Brown. Blocked again! He's been held scoreless tonight. Really just unable to make any sort of impact. Uh, you know, some people could say he's struggling on offense this period. I like to think of more of drowning. Just can't seem to find his confidence. It's Brown on the wing. He's checked by Levert. Fires at the elbow. And it's off the back of the rim. No good. He hasn't been able to find his touch this quarter. Yeah, straight up, guys. Like, he's ice cold, like freezing. It's colder than cold. But you don't have to shoot it, my guy. It's okay to pass the ball. The three. 
And the basket's good. Off the assist from Garland. Levert's got 11. Yeah, it's hard to believe that Garland is only getting better at this, developing into a skilled playmaker. Good on the bucket. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. Yeah, that just comes down to a lack of effort. The defender has to do a better job fighting through the screen. Garland, no good. Boston trailing. Pass to Tatum. Look at Tatum using his length. <laughs> One hard work from Tatum inside. Doing what it takes to find his shot. Allen with a screen on Holiday. The three from Mitchell. Orford pulls it in. Horford's got rebound number five here tonight. Okay, let's just say it. This has been an ugly quarter for him. Not quite a break of here. Ugly, but it's good. To the middle. Ooh, the deft touch on the lob. Offensively, Mobley is a versatile player. We're talking about a guy that's seven feet tall that can score on all three levels efficiently. Nine seconds separating the shot clock and game clock. Holiday passes to Horford. Tatum against Mobley. Screen by Horford. Tatum muscles his way in. See, this is what Tatum is capable of. Look, if he is a sensational scorer, like we understand that. When he gets into a rhythm. Woo. Mitchell finds Allen. Outside Mitchell. With two seconds left. The shot misses. And that'll do it for the third quarter. The Cavaliers on top. Up five. Time to step away quickly, but we'll be back in no time with the start of the fourth quarter. Happy to have you back with us for the Eastern Conference semifinals on 2K Sports. Here's Levert. And Cleveland looking at who they've got to start the fourth. Okoro is out there with Tristan Thompson. Then it's Karis Levert. Then it's Darius Garland. And it's Merrill in at the two. Give credit to Levert. The correct choice in the pick and roll. Sometimes it's best to just give up the run. Oh, it's stolen. To the inside. Garland. And that one goes in as he's fouled. It'll be three points if he converts the free throw. And a moment here to take a look at some hustle stats from Cleveland. They've been defending with excellent anticipation all game long. Just look at how many times they've managed to get their hands on the ball. And let's talk about their blocks. When you're facing a team swatty shots, it becomes a mental situation as well. Makes you think twice before you fire. Hauser passes to Tatum. Oh, it's stolen by Levert. Oh, swiped away. To the paint. Here's Pritchard. Here's Tatum. Pass to Hauser. Down low. It's intercepted. And pushing it up. Here's Cleveland. Throw it down on the breakaway jam. A real weapon on offense. Once Levert sees a few go down, you know he's in the zone. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. The first free throw is good. Holiday's checked in for Boston. Both good from the line that time. Cleveland calls timeout. Force. Hey team, I was able to catch the message that J.B. Bickerstaff was giving to his team. Coach asked his team, can anyone knock down a three? Reminding them three-point shooting will open up the floor, make things easier in the half-court offense. Everyone loves making threes. Missing? Not so much. B.A.? Allie, thank you. Tatum passes to Holiday. That ball. Nice feed that time from Tatum. Impressive ball handling from Tatum. Attracts the other team's focus and then finds the open man. They swipe it. Pass to Holiday. And that one's good. Holiday's gotten four this quarter. Great teamwork on that drive. Punctuated by a strong finish. Yeah, that's nice execution. Running with purpose and creating an easy scoring opportunity off the break. Tatum. Again, Drew Holiday 
is such a gritty player. Holiday fights for two there inside. And so Garland will bring it up to Cleveland. They held a 12-point lead earlier. Nice jump shot from the top of the key. Garland's got 11 points here in the second half. In the fourth quarter, he's gone three for four. They've really needed it. Pass to Tatum. To the middle. Here's Cornette. Oh, the lead pass was in the perfect spot to set up the layup. Cornette's got his first two points of the night. It's an evolving portion of Tatum's game, which is scary that he's still evolving, but it's becoming a staple. And some changes here for the Celtics. Al Horford's checked in for Cornette. Jalen Brown comes in for Hauser. And it's White in for Pritchard. Okoro passes to Allen. Back to Okoro. Left block shot on the way. And it's good for two. And the Cavaliers lead by eight. For the Celtics, this one not looking good. Here's Brown. It's rebounded by Cleveland. Mobley's got his seventh rebound here tonight. On the wing, Mitchell. Yes, and a nice assist from Garland. Garland's got four assists in the game. Nice pass right there from Garland. Love seeing that selfless attitude. Holiday passes to Brown. And it's going to be out of bounds. Austin will have another go. There's a minute 47 left in the fourth quarter here. Pass to Tatum. On the wing, Tatum. And he was camped in the lane there. He gets a three-second call. We've seen more than a few miscues from them tonight. And if they want to come back in this game, look, they got to clean up those mistakes. A remarkable defensive play. The replay showing once again the tenacity on that end. Oh, you could feel the playoff intensity in that block. He's playing some extra aggressive defense out there. Garland, the pass to Allen. One twenty-seven left to play in the fourth. And it's Mitchell, the miss. And he almost made them regret defending him so loosely. Horford outside. Pass to Brown. Jacks up a three. Bullseye! Jalen Brown! Once a weakness in Brown's arsenal, now he's a legitimate threat to burn you from deep. The Cavaliers leading. 105 left in the game. Here's Mitchell. Again, the miss by Mitchell. The Celtics have gotten five of their seven shots to fall in this final quarter. Brown finds White. This one for three. Cash. And now they trail by just four. Look, those assist numbers from Brown have continued to creep up. Garland feeling it out a bit. Inside. Here's Allen. The rebound, Celtics. And right here, they can't waste any time. It needs to be a quick shot and a quick foul. <laughs> Great to see guys who don't back down under pressure. He knew what they needed here and was determined to deliver. Five-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Right against Mitchell. Clock. Launches a three. Here's Allen. And they foul intentionally. Now they're going to have to do that again. They're not in the penalty just yet. I can't believe that took so long. They needed to foul much sooner. Now a timeout called by Cleveland. They're leading by two. Three seconds left to play in the fourth quarter of this one. And that's an intentional foul. Yeah, just trying to keep this game alive. Not a bad foul right there. He gets the first, and that makes it a three-point lead. Garland has a scores mentality from the field and from the line. Making no mistakes and putting some extra nails in the coffin right here. That pretty much good. And Boston calls time here. They're trailing by four. 
Only two seconds left in the game. All right, guys, what do you think? It's going to be tough. They've got to get a quick hoop and then immediately foul. And his fantastic performance from the last game has carried over to tonight. He's just...